Hi, I'm Susan Nicholas Gephardt, and welcome to my studio in Belfont, Pennsylvania. I'm here to talk about uh, my love of experimenting with new products. I work in all mediums, and I have been painting for over 50 years. My favorite mediums to explore are fluid ones, but I also love pastels. So, with that in mind, today I want to talk about my love of multimedia artboard. I've been working with the original multimedia artboard since about 2005. My original use of this was to explore pastels on it. I was looking for a surface that could be wet and would not bend and ripple like most watercolor papers. And so this situation, I wanted to use it for pastel to see if the original could hold pastel, but most importantly, I wanted to be able to wet the surface and paint on it. What I did back then was primarily explore with dissolving the pastel and moving it across the board with brush and water. Now today what I want to do is an actual experiment using straight up watercolor onto the multimedia artboard. I'm going to be gathering some information. I'm going to be asking myself some questions. What is the quality of this board that makes watercolor stand out? What is unique about the properties of it. We'll also look at the rigidity of the, the board, which is acid-free and non-permeable, meaning that the water won't soak through and of high quality. So we'll be looking at that and what are the pros of having a rigid board that is easier to mat and frame. It even holds its own surface without buckling and rippling. But what are the other things about it that make the watercolor react on this board? So. That is going to be my goal, to think of myself like a scientist, to ask myself questions, use this as my surface, pull out my favorite watercolor brushes, and get my watercolor set up. This first little part of the experiment will be simply doing that and testing it on the multimedia artboard. All right, watercolor painters and those that think of themselves as experimenters in the arts, let's join me. Welcome to my first floor studio. I moved down here because it has better lighting. Light coming in through the windows is perfect. And so what I'm going to do here is transition to the camera going onto the board so you can see my palette and the art being created as I explore multimedia artboard. Right now I'm rehydrating my watercolors that I had mixed up earlier today. I'm going to do a pencil sketch uh, so that I can try to save the white space. I also decided to use a kneaded eraser to see if it damaged the paper in any way. It does lift the pencil off. So I think this is a darker lead than I usually use, so I would use a lighter lead. With this second painting, I'm going to start with the background, throwing in some blues and really getting it wet, but trying to save some white space make it feel like it is in the forest. My goal is to work rather quickly and playfully, continuing to experiment, allowing the, the paper itself, multimedia artboard, to do some interesting things. So we've already decided that we've discovered that it does stain, that you can do some dry brush and create textures. I'm gonna try again here to throw a wash down and then lay color into it, see what happens. So yes, it does have somewhat of a texture, but I can see how I can 
make it work for this kind of watercolor. So it, it has its own personality. Indeed, uh, Multimedia Artboard, the original, uh, reacts differently, but we're trying to figure out how we can use it to our advantage. I would say it's a stable paper for plein air painting, providing almost its own surface without having to tape or staple it down. It will handle really rich, bright color. That's going to be too bright, but hey, I can already see that I, as the pastelist, will go back over this and work into it with some pastel to see what happens. But it takes a lot of work and abuse. It, you know, you can really work this board and it's, it's not buckling. So let's see how dark we can get just playing. So it handles and holds a point nicely. Well, this is, this is fun, and it, 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 doing this kind of an experiment gives you an opportunity to uh, fear, basically fear no art, try something new. wonderful surface to to play and explore on. Uh, I can see how I would use this as a, a warm-up for any medium and I love the, the color of it. The white surface gives you this bright brightness that is really fun to work on. It was also a, a wonderful experience using my watercolors and thinking like a scientist gathering information about this beautiful surface and how it would react to the watercolor. I give it two thumbs up for both studio and plein air. Thanks Multimedia for supporting your local artists and sharing this fantastic product with us.